Hey guys, so if you follow my blog or follow my Instagram, you'll see that I now have a pet. I have a Corgi, he's 15 weeks old, his name's Charlie, and today he finally got fully vaccinated so we can take him out to walk, and the next video footage you're gonna see is his first time actually being outside and walking. Um, for me, I felt like I live in New I live in New York. I felt like maybe people wouldn't really pay attention to him, which wasn't really like an issue, but whatever. I just didn't expect like people to be so oh my god a corgi and pet him and play with him and give him treats or whatever. But that totally happened, which was so great. He enjoyed being out for the first time today. We were in uh, Midtown East and it's near a pet co and a pet hospital because we went to the um, east side animal hospital so he can get vaccinated and he had after he got vaccinated we pretty much just put him on a leash right away and took him out just because we wanted him out and we were so excited to walk him my boyfriend and i and we just put him on a leash and he it went so well like i did not expect it to go that well like everyone wanted to play with him. I did not get as much video footage as I would want to because you kind of want to walk him and play with him and it's pretty hard to like get video footage and actually have fun with him but I do have a few clips which I'm about to Where is he going? Aww. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh you can walk him in Petco too. Come on. Come on Joey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, right Are you going inside? <laughs> Come on, Charlie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on, Charlie. I got the door. Come on, Charlie. Wait. Come on, Charlie. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good boy. Happy. How are you? Hey, Charlie. Oh, he's like, Oh, nice. Sheba? No. Right? Bonsky. 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 Yep. <laughs> nice. Hi. Oh, his eyes are beautiful. Oh, my gosh. His eyes are beautiful. Beautiful dog. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First day out. So really? Okay, yeah, you're not going to get very far. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Loving this. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. You're not tired of getting rubbed up, but you're not really tired of walking. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. So, as you see, he really had some fun today. He's usually up and about and probably would be trying to get in the couch in this video right now but he is totally knocked out um his play area is open but he is so tired he's just in his crate sleeping and he does not even care to be in the living room which is so new for me and thank thank you guys for watching actually i'll show you how his player is set up if you have a dog maybe you'd want to know how i set up my play area to probably know 
if you're a new dog owner and you haven't set up your dog play area or depending I live in a New York City apartment so there's no yard for my dog to really play in so I give I made a section off my living room and he has his own play area with his crate in it so I'm just going to show you my setup of what I have for him I do move the pieces around there is his crate so there it's a play area and so in this play area I'm sorry there is pretty much three main spaces which is his crate his eating area and his wee wee pad so because he couldn't go out we wee wee pad trained him which took a couple hours to do to be honest corgis are super smart I we tr my boyfriend and I trained him to use his wee wee pad in a matter of like I picked him up Friday night and came home and by Sunday afternoon he was only using his wee wee pad for potty he's so easy to train so if you do like corgis definitely get one they're easy to train they're they're apparently the 15th smartest dog but whatever they're super smart it's super easy to train at least for me um, so I'm just gonna show you his play area setup so if you're getting a dog and you just really don't know how to set it up you can you don't have to set it up exactly how I have it but having the crate the feeding area and a wee wee pad if that's what you're gonna do um, set up in a way for the dog and most people have like basic the basic setup is maybe like the crate, the food, the wee wee pad at the near the furthest end. I did that setup first, but I honestly feel like you should set it up one way and see how your dog deals with it and then rotate it and change it depending on your dog. I don't feel like that one size fit all setup is suitable for everyone because I did have his wee wee pad at the furthest end, but he would not go there and after I moved it he went there and he's always going in that specific area and I mean now wherever I put the wee wee pad he goes but at first that's how it was so I'm just gonna show you that setup um he's sleeping so I'll show you that as well I'll probably wake him up when I get over there but right now he's sleeping um so, so this is sense. his crate and his play area the gates wide open but he's so tired he's not coming out and like he's just sleeping and not messing with me so I put his crate here his eating area is there and his wee wee pad is right there and he pretty much just hangs out over here before I had his wee wee pad far back here and this was a bit more wide open but he never really liked going there I guess I, I don't know so I moved it here and he goes he went there but pretty much at this point, anywhere I move the wee wee pad, he'll go on the wee wee pad because he's trained to go on the wee wee pad. But when I was first training him, he pretty much only went on it if it was there. So that's it. And my little puppy is so knocked out right now. He had such a great day. He's just sleeping.